Hi everyone, this is Daisy and welcome to my channel. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. For today's video, we are going to put the remaining succulents that we have unwrapped from the two boxes of blessings that we have received last week. First, let's have a recap. We have here the variegated ondalata, variegated by Nessie, variegated suyon, tomento sa teddy bear, choco bronze, variegated lady finger, we have also frog's toe, and a hybrid of lawi and aria. I have also prepared the pots that we are going to use. I have prepared six small size of black pots and two medium size. I filled it up with my used soil mix. And we can start potting now. But first, we have to put Osmocotas Law Release Fertilizer on each pot since we are using used soil mix for potting our new succulents. So the first one that we are going to pat is the variegated ladyfinger. So this is my first time to have this kind of succulent here in my garden. And the color of the variegation is so nice. It has a red tips, variegation of green, yellow, and somewhat white in its leaf. So I'm putting the name tag temporarily in the pot so I won't forget the idea of the succulent. So I have noticed in every variegated succulent, the usual color is yellowish white. They have that kind of yellowish white stripe, most of them, and they give a red and pink stress color whenever they are stressed. I will pat first this first stem of the variegated lady finger and then we're going to use the top dressing which is the aqua soil. So the smaller stem that I have left behind, I will pat it in a small pot later since they will not all fit and they will be crowded in this pot because this is only a medium sized pot so they will not have enough space to grow so I decided to pot only one stem so this is how it looks like So the next one that we're going to pot in this medium sized square black pot is the variegated suyon. So I have here in my garden in the veranda area the ordinary suyon. It's still stressed in color somewhat red or turning into maroon and still surviving there in a rain or shine area direct sunlight. And it's receiving sunlight from morning to afternoon. Right now, I am removing the dried leaves from the succulent since it has been air dried for more than two weeks already from the cellar. So there are lots of dried leaves to remove. So soon I'll make a vlog comparing this variegated suyan with the ordinary one so just watch out for it. And now we're putting the aqua soil as top dressing so it would look more beautiful and so the birds won't play with our soil mix. This is how it looks. It's so pretty nice. 
So the third one that we are going to put is the another stem of the variegated lady finger. So we'll be doing the same thing. And the next one that we are going to put is our Tom and Tosa Teddy Bear. So this is how it looks like. Actually, it's quite dehydrated already and doesn't look that good already. But that's why we have to repot it now so it can have roots already and we can moist it already. So they can drink up water already so they will be soon be well. I have already different kinds of tomentosa here. Maybe soon I'll be preparing also another vlog for my tomentosa. I have here the bear's paw, chocolate soldier, the panda, the miloti, the teddy bear, the cinnamon, and the black tie too. So the next one that we are going to pot is the variegated by Nessie. So look at the color. It's so pretty. It's like peach pink in color. So I will put temporarily in the pot again the name tag of this succulent because it looks the same with another succulent that I have here in my garden. I might keep confused it's somewhat similar to variegated mrs richard the color so we won't get confused and get mixed up with the other pots when i put it here in the garage area in our plant truck There are some leaves that fall, so all we need to do is put it on top of the pot after we put the top dressing so, so we can propagate it. It might give us a baby. So the next one that we are going to put is a hybrid of Lowy and Ariel. So I have here in my garden before this kind of succulent or echeveria and it turns into full red during December but, but when it rains before December ends for one whole week it gets mushy and it was soaked with too much water so it eventually got 
stem rot and eventually die. So when I saw that the seller post this hybrid law in area, immediately mine it because Because I really love the red color it has when it gets stressed. So we have to wait for for a long time before it gets stressed because the season now is summer. We need cold weather to make it more stressed into red. The next one that we're going to pot is the choco bronze. So before in the first week of February I unwrapped some chocolates and I have bought uh, choco bronze too so this is my second part of the choco bronze in my garden now I love the color of this choco bronze it's very shiny the color combination is so nice so you will see it later in a closer look And I decided to put a small stone so it will support the choco bronze from not falling off the path. And then I added the leaves that was removed when I pot the choco bronze. It might give us a baby too. So this is how it looked like. It's pretty nice. So the last one that we are going to pot is the Sorry, it's not the last one So it's a rare succulent, it's called frog toe Actually, I have noticed some leaves that are turning black. I'm not quite sure if it's fungus, but some leaves fall off. And So the next one that we're going to pot is variegated on the lata and it's like a kind of jade plant for me. So I added akadama soy on the soy mix and add our usual soy mix gradually to fill up the pot. I already have one pot of variegated on the lata and it is located in the veranda area, rain or shine, morning to afternoon sun. It's growing well there. And it's striving to grow more healthy. So we're finally done potting all of them. Let's take a good look of them. Enjoy watching.
And before I end my video, please do subscribe to my member, Aileen De La Cruz Vlog. She has succulents and cactus in her garden and is very informative. And also to my friend, Jeremy Hermano, please subscribe to her channel. She has lots of succulents, variegated and unvariegated, and also cacti. So that's all for today's video guys. I hope you like my sharing for today. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and share my video to your family, friends, and relatives. Bye for now. See you on my next video. Bye. God bless us all. Bye.